you're not sealing, it's literally a furnace, guys. Just look at my shirt. Look at my face, the sweat pouring off, man. Previously, you saw me build these doors. These are the sliding doors I've made for the closet. They're painted in pink color. This is for a, a little girl closet. This is the color she chose, which is Sherwin, Sherwin Williams Dragon Fruit. And uh, today I'm going to install these doors on this closet. This is a closet that I built uh about a month ago and the customer wanted these doors to be installed on this closet so this is a special built design the first thing i do is check to see if these doors are past this handle and then um what i'm doing now i'm measuring the distance from the closet, the distance from the wall to the clearance point on the handle where I will put my the middle of the traps for the sliding doors. And uh, I have to do this because there is no structure involved. Okay, so there is no studs in the area. I would have been there drilling forever. So what I'm doing, I cut a 2 by 4 and I'm going to go off from the top smack some screws in it then come from the bottom and smack some more screws from the bottom so i'm going to show you all getting in this hot ceiling now it's going to be a little greeny but bear with me so this is the ceiling top and it's all the way over there you can't see from here because it's a bit dark still but I'm in the ceiling now. I'm gonna move fast before I get cooked up here, guys. So I'm trying to lift the board while holding the camera with one hand. It's a bit of a task. But they want you guys to see the stress I go through to get these jobs completed. I'm gonna pause for a while and bring the board and then come back. So I'm back now. I'm going into the area. It's very dark in here. So as you can see, I have produced some marks where I want got to place my board. There's one there. And it, you probably can't see the rest over there. But it produced my marks where I want to put my board. So somehow we'll have to slide it under these two cross members here and then you get the board secure. So here goes nothing guys. I put in these two screws at the top. One screw behind here and then I couple it and end up cutting it in half. So I'm going from bottom and then put some screws on the bottom. Anyway, getting back to business, I put a I put a support at the top of the ceiling. You now I'm going to fasten it with some screws and then screw on the plate that I'm going to hold the running rails on. So I'm going to set back the camera on the tripod and then show the footage from here. So moving forward, as you can see, I overload the amount of screws that I put to fasten that to before the ceiling. I'm making sure that this thing is well gripped on the sheet rock and uh, this is to prevent any vibration as this is only fastened on the sheet rock itself right now I have to go back and strengthen and strengthen it again with some straps on the fit storage for the ceiling to hold the weight of the sliding doors. I'm installing the first sliding rail now. This is going to be the rail for the back or the furthest doors apart. So then after that I install the rollers itself 
So the rollers are a very simple concoction. It's just a plastic roller with a adjustable plastic wheel. Um, it's held on with two screws. So here I'm going to show you how I put them in. I just place them approximately uh, four, yeah, this is approximately five inches from the bottom in. It doesn't have to be a set a set distance just enough that it will balance the door you can see a closer look here and using Robinson screws to hold it and uh, I already put in the second reel so as you can see here I already have the doors already in place as you can see how I actually put on the door you have to lean the door forward put it in the, the trap to hook it but you have to pull it at an angle and you can see I have a little trouble lining up but here goes it's in and that's it the reel is on the trap and uh, you have to stand up and adjust the wheel the plastic wheel and uh, see if it's working properly in the end these adjustments so it is necessary for a leveling and operation, smooth operation of the door. Right, so these are the sliding doors, some adjustments still to be made. All four doors can move any side. So the mirror is supposed to be placed as the second door from the wall. But all the buttons need to be shaved and adjusted the flooring. Then it will make a sliding drain for these doors to slide on and the top I would put a pediment at the top to hide the raw wood and the rails then at the side I will put a molding coming down on the wall to the floor here I'm installing the drain for the bottom this is a custom made trap and made out of treated pine and painted it the same color as the door so you can see here I'm installing the doors in a trap first so I brought off the trap off the door so that the doors will fit in the drain and then I will slide the trap back to the closer to the closet level with the wall so I've already made sure that the doors have enough clearance from the bottom of the trap and it already leveled the doors Also, you can see parts of the trap missing at the top. I have another closet to be done. The off cuts off the closet will finish off the traps for this longer one. So that, that's why I'm not putting those up as yet because I want to make sure that the other closet have adequate runners there and then the off cuts I will use. Here you see me installing the pyramid. This is to collect the tongue molding, also to hide the raw edge of the tongue and the rails that were installed. So after this, I'm going to put on the crown molding. What I'm going to do is cut the crown molding to the angle of the existing crown molding that was installed and put it in a corner molding. So doing this I realized that 
I put I had already put it in mode I had to take it back down because I had to screw in this part I had to screw in this part first so here I'm now I'm now reinstalling the molding so I've made sure that it's lined up properly if you're seeing this for the first time and you haven't subscribed please subscribe to the woodworking dude channel and like and share and uh, smash it up guys put in a new video to tap and hold it to see um, what to see the parts I need to adjust and uh, I'm going to the end of tacking that nail not nail at all just a check to make sure that my joints are working back as good as they can be so now all the pieces are up I can put in some more nails necessary and these nails are going to sink now for the finished product 